<laughs> there is so much here. <laughs> Okay, so we're sneaking through the shallows here today. It's dead low tide. Um, we didn't actually look at the tide, so this has caught us off guard a little bit, but at the same time, this is the most fun you can have without fishing. We are just cruising through these shallows, just idling, and the amount of fish and rock ledges and everything we're seeing, because it's crystal clear, it's just a feast for the eyes today. So. We're on the hunt for a couple of whiting. Uh, beach rooms in the last video, you would have seen us, but I waited till Tao had the day off too, so we could get into them together. So, fingers crossed, we can keep waddling our way up this creek and uh, find some big whiting, do a catch cook on the tinny for lunch. So, hopefully, we get stuck into a couple. Okay, so we spent a fair while cruising up this creek and we finally found this little zone. So, it's so shallow. Let's see how shallow it is. Like, the sand's out but we've seen so many big whiting hanging around this little area here the tide's just pushing in so what we're going to do is we're going to float those sandworms we got take the sinkers off and just kind of flick it behind the boat we're going to be on foot most of the time not fishing out of boat as such because it's that shallow and hopefully drift the worms right into these whiting spaces get some big ones and Tao has bought herself a little hand reel <laughs> Because she is hell bent on getting a whiting on a hand reel. This is how it comes. It like comes fully rigged. I'm so excited. To probably change the hook. Yeah, and she's even um, talking quietly because she wants to be full stealth. Because these whiting are so big. <laughs> I'm so excited to use this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get rigged up and we'll get into this. Okay, so I've taken the sinker off this. We're just gonna throw. Put a bit of worm on. Let's see how this first cast goes. Foot long whiting come at me. <laughs> oh, she snapped it. Okay. Let's throw it out there. Oh, I can actually see a whiting in front of me here. Oh, I'm on. Oh, that's a whiting too. <laughs> oh, he's not a bad one. He's got a mate. Look at that. There's one following it there. That's not a bad start. That is a good summer whiting right there. What a way to kick it off. Hey. Oh, he's green. Oh no. <laughs> I just let him go. <gasps> oh. oh, how's that? Oh, good calm. You always let the first fish go, isn't that how it works? Get on to another one. <laughs> well, Tao's got a line and a hand reel in here. She's going hard. I can actually hear fish feeding on the flat here. The tide's just coming in and just covering this. So I'm just going to come for a little walk, nice and quietly, and see what I can see through here here because you can definitely hear stuff feeding I just don't know what it is could be whiting could be anything oh straight up first cast Only a little fella, not legal, but he's a start. You gonna buy it? Oh, true. Okay, 
I'll try that again. That was almost instant. That was. Oh, we're on. I was just trying to pull the anchor out for the boat. And it took off. Yeah, well, they face into the water. Oh, it's not a bad one. Oh, there's three behind it too. Look at that. There's five behind it. They're everywhere. Oh, that's a better one. That's a better one. <laughs> okay. That's one for lunch. Okay. Put a bit more worm on. Throw it out and then I'll sort this anchor out because the boat's drifting away as this tide's coming in. It's starting to drift away right now actually. <laughs> Throw that out there. And then get this anchor situation You on? Good job. Oh. I nearly was too. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hold him up. Good one. <laughs> Shall we? He's a good one. That's a stonger. <laughs> good job. Two for lunch. Looking good. Looks like I'm eating now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just got a nib. That was a good one. Face of concentration. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one's about to take off, I think. Come on. He's thinking about it. Oh, tears on. Oh, that's a good one. Don't tighten it up too much. It's only 10 pounds. Oh, look at it. That's a monster, tower. That is a monster. That is an absolute monster. Did you see the flash? Yeah. Yeah, he's a good whiting. This one will feed an army. Oh. Oh, you're wrong. <laughs> oh, I missed that one. <laughs> oh, he's not a whiting, not so high. Isn't it? Is no, it a brim? A brim. Oh my god, <laughs> look at the size of that thing. Oh, that is huge. I haven't had brim in a while. No. <laughs> we might let that one go though. Yeah, I think so. It's super slow growing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> That thing is massive, Tower. Not bigger than my PB though. No, but he's getting 42. up there. <laughs> He'd be getting up there. Yeah. Look at it. He's just ready to spawn. Look at him. Full of row. <laughs> or her. Yeah. Wow. That's a solid fish. God. Bring him over. We'll get him in. Wow. Look at that. That's beautiful condition. Thing's massive. <laughs> well done. Good yeah. job. Well done. Not the whiting, but uh, I knew we'd get a few of them. We saw so yeah. many coming in. Anyway, I'll get the hook out and That's get him back. Huge. Eh? That's a solid one. Look at him. Beautiful yeah. fish. Very well conditioned. There we go, back, Marty. Crystal clear, shallow water. Out of there. Good job, Tao. Solid. Very nice. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, back on the whiting train. Okay, the whiting seemed to have died off, so we're going to change spots. So here we go. Find some more. Cow's on. Hmm. What are you calling? Oh, 
Is it Kari? Oh, it's over here somewhere. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, it's a brim. Is it? Oh no, it's a big whiting. Big oh, whiting. It's fine, like a whiting. I was like, no, I should no, not. Holy man. Woo! Whoa! So, <laughs> holy dooly! Hold him up. Try. <laughs> that thing's massive. Good job. That's a proper Nailed one. Them. <laughs> Good job, another one for the sky. Yeah, we're talking. <laughs> Damn, that looks like another whiting too. Feel like one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> job, slaying them, girl. Absolutely slaying them. Yeah, thank you. Oh. Oh, it's a good one. It's a real good one. Yeah. Jeez, these beach worms are going off. Oh, he's big. He's going again. He's bigger again. Yeah. Wow. That's a <laughs> proper one. Look at that. That's sick. Yeah. Woo, you got to catch up, boy. I told oh, no. you I was going to slay. You did. <laughs> I catch the bait, you catch the fish. Yeah. Got him. Got him that time. Oh, the head shake. What is it? I don't know. Maybe? Maybe. Maybe. If it is, it might be a keeper. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's a good one too. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Gotta get the net out. Your rod's getting bites too. Oh, look, I'm following him. Oh yes, finally. <laughs> you got a good one. Good job. Finally, oh, he's a good one. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Oh yep. Yeah. She's under the bites too. Oh, they're good bites. All right, I'm gonna dispatch this big fella in the esky. Things are looking tasty. On again. Oh, oh no, he's still there. Thought he fell off. He doesn't feel real big though. Oh, there's a little bit of a head shake. It's a whiting. Yeah, this is a whiting. Oh, he might be a no, girl. He's not bad, he's not bad. He's just swimming into the current. Oh, nice. Uh, hey, he's a, he's a keeper. Yeah. Yeah, deceiving. He wasn't fighting. <laughs> Another one for the box. Okie dokie, well, the afternoon's getting well on. I am starving, Tao's definitely starving as well. And uh, I'm gonna get stuck into these whiting. So I'll quickly, ugh, quickly fillet them up. And then um, we're gonna have some crumbed whiting fillets deep fried on the tinny while we're out here. So a bit of homemade yeah, tartare um, sauce. Oh, and Tao's hooked up just as I say that. Gonna add another one to the uh, esky, maybe. Oh, did it fall off? I think so. Oh, no. No, you got him. You got him. He's just swimming towards him. <laughs> oh, that one doesn't look half bad. Oh, no, you ripped out that time. Yeah. Yeah. Bummer. Oh. Tao's gonna keep trying to add more fish to the pan because she is starving. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna throw my bait away too, cheeky bugger. Uh, okay, I'll get on and clean those fish. <laughs> okay, I'm just filleting some whiting on the car stack here. And Tao's just gone and yeeted. <laughs> Andrea, where is it? There. Oh wow, it's a long way away. Okay. Yeah, I see. <laughs> we gotta, we've had to pull the anchor. We've gotta go. Save this hand reel. Because I did this and instead of throwing the bait, I threw the reel. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. Just throw it all. Yeah, like, it'll catch fish itself. Yeah, it will catch its own. Oh, you got a lot of reeling in to do. Good job. Good job. You got a fish yet? I hope so. <laughs> this just takes so much thought. <laughs> Throw the bait, not the hand, really. Good job. 
Okay, well Tao's trying to catch more fish. <laughs> We've relocated to another spot out of the wind and uh, I'm gonna get cooking our lunch slash dinner because it is getting pretty bloody late. So what we're gonna do is just crumb whiting fillets with a homemade tartare. So nice and simple, super tasty, super fresh. So I've just finished filleting and scaling all the whiting. That's our six lots of whiting fillets there, deboned, left the skin on, just scaled them. And we're just gonna do egg, crumbs, deep fry, tartare, done super fresh super simple anyone can do it and it's really easy on a boat so we're going to use a jet boil and a wok and that's it so easy cooking super tasty super good you guys should really try this out on the water makes a world of difference if you catch and cook your stuff while you're out here gathering so well tower's trying to catch us some more fish did you see that take off just before no i didn't did you hear it no oh well oh, tower's getting <laughs> Oh, I saw the bite, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get cooking. Or else, uh, yeah, Tao's gonna keep loading me with more fish to fill it. <laughs> okay, so I got the jet boil out and I finally got a proper little attachment so we can cook with the frying pan now. <laughs> Without having to hover it. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna stick that down here out of the wind. Throw the wok on. Bit of oil in there, up to temp. Crumb the whiting, dump her in. Bob's your uncle. Oh, and Tao's on. Oh. <laughs> Won't even let me cook. <laughs> oh, is it a brim? I've got money on a brim. Probably. She's got a handline yeah. out as well. She reminds me of me when I was a young fella. <laughs> Multiple rods out everywhere. She just like cats heaps of fish. Oh, it's another micro brim. It's a little brim. Oh, fella. Hey buddy, how you doing? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get to cooking. Super simple Tupperware for everything so we can wash it. We're not creating any waste with little plastic Ziploc bags. Couple of eggs, make an egg wash. Set up our little line so we got whiting into the egg, into the breadcrumbs, into the fryer. Sound pretty good? Sounds amazing. Sounds pretty good. We'll get onto it. So whiting, there's an egg bath, breadcrumbs, set it aside, one down. Paid 11 more times. Okay, so that is our lunch slash dinner. It's looking pretty tasty already. Oil smoking. So what I'll do is I'll just do a little test. Oh, yep, perfect. A few of these at a time. What are you making? A homemade tartare. So I've got some capers, some, I suppose you call them gherkins or pickles, and just some mayo. You just kind of massage it through like that. And a bit of salt and pepper, and you're done. Fresh, tasty, beats the stuff in a jar.
Well, there you have it guys, it's the end product. Deep fried crumbed whiting with homemade tartare sauce on the mini tinny in the afternoon. Cows already been stealing little bits and eating it. She was a bit sceptical of my tartare, weren't you? I was sceptical of your tartare, yes. Yeah, you were very sceptical. How's it turn out? Pretty good. You like it? You rate it? I do rate it. Do you I like it better surprised. than normal? It. it was pretty yes. rushed, it wasn't measured out or anything like you normally would. But yeah. No, I do like it. I no. was just skeptical about the gherkin. Yeah, maybe a dash of lemon, I reckon. I'm not a gherkin fan, so surprise me. I think the capers definitely have put you back <laughs> in the good books. In the good books. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The fish, on the other hand, good is what makes it. Yeah, obviously. Fresh. <laughs> Try a little bit here. Oh, there's a perfect bite size. Oh, it's <laughs> pretty good, eh? Oh, man, pretty good. With that tartare, that's insane. Hmm. Lucky you brought wow. someone who could catch the fish, and I brought someone who can make sauce. Yeah, that's it. That's a pretty good trade-off, I reckon. Someone's got to catch and someone's got to cook. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're going to smash the rest of this or else I'm not going to get any later. Tower's already three fillets down. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for joining us again, Legends. Super chill one today, but hey, everyone's got stuff to do these days. We're super busy as well. We're just showing you that a couple of hours out on the water, you can really enjoy yourself. Have a fresh feed of locally caught organic free range produce <laughs> and uh, just get out, get some vitamin D and get some sanity back. So thanks for tuning in legends and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. How good is this? I know. Oh. <laughs>